I think this is a very important uh, study because um, uh, we, what we did is that after the booster vaccine dose in patients with multi-myeloma and Waldstrom, we measured uh, the neutralizing antibody activity not only against the Wuhan virus, which is uh, uh, what is commercially available, but also uh, in different mutants, including the Omicron 1, 2 and Omicron 4, 5, and especially the Omicron 4, 5 is uh, concur, I mean, in the majority of the countries, like in Greece. So what we've seen is that um, although the majority of myeloma patients um, who receive uh, uh, therapies with PIs and IMIDs uh, respond to uh, the Wuhan uh, mutant, the Wuhan not strain, um, after the booster dose, almost 90% of them had antibodies that could neutralize the Wuhan strain. Unfortunately, those who receive uh, anti-CD38 uh, monoclonal antibodies or anti-BCMA uh, targeted therapies, only 50 to 60% of them could uh, respond and neutralize the Wuhan strain. But if we go to the beta 4-5, that I think this, this is the most important, I mean only uh, one third of the patients who receive PIs and IMIDs based regimen can, after the booster vaccine dose, can neutralize the Omicron 4 and 5. And if we go for anti-CD38 or anti-BCMA targeted therapies, only one uh, out of four or one out of five patients could neutralize the new mutants. So I think that this um, gives us the, uh, let's say, the conclusion that first of all, these patients, even if they have the booster vaccine dose, are at high risk of developing COVID-19 with the new mutants. So they have, first of all, to have all the measures with a mask and everything. Uh, second, that we have to protect them using possibly monoclonal antibodies like the Evoseld, uh, especially those who are under therapies with anti-CD38 or anti-BCMA targeted therapies. And third, to uh, suggest in all these patients to have the new vaccine uh, that targets also Omicron 4 and 5. I think that these are the three important messages because with the standard vaccine that targets, as you know, the Wuhan strain, the majority of these patients are unprotected.